Hey, what's up everyone? Jeremy here from CyberPower PC. In this video, we're going to go over the safest practices for packaging up your GPU to ship back to us for a repair or replacement. So let's dive in. Some of our customers have been reaching out and asking what the best practices are for shipping hardware to us for replacement or repairs. So today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do just that. I'll walk you through the best practices to ensure a quick and safe journey for your hardware from you to us. So there's just a few things that you're gonna need to get. Of course, you're gonna need to have your driver's card. Next is you're gonna need two boxes, some sort of anti-static, so that way when you place it inside, it won't damage it any further, there won't be any type of static electricity and it'll ruin the, the hardware. As much bubble wrap as you can possibly get. Uh, um, and then some type of foam, you know, just something about this thickness would be perfect. But first step is, of course, so you're gonna take your graphics card and you're gonna place it either inside of a anti-static sleeve, uh, but if not, just wrap it uh, all the way around as best as you can, covering all the different sides. Um, but for now, we're gonna be just sliding inside the sleeve. Let's go ahead and do that. And of course, graphic cards also vary in shape and size, but you're gonna basically do the same process either in a smaller, or bigger bag. Um, and then of course, you're gonna to wanna to fold it up. After that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get your bubble wrap. And now the first step is, is I'm just gonna lay it on the bubble wrap and roll it up. Just like a little bubble wrap burrito. up and just keep layering it up as you go along. This time I'm gonna go across this way, get a uh, protection around all this at different sides. And then I have my longer bubble wrap here. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it up in this. And just look how thick that is. Pretty even all around the sides. No matter how hard it gets dropped during shipping, um, it'll be nice and safe. Now, after that, so basically you just wanna get this foam. You just kinda wanna press that in there. Get that in there. Now after you're done layering it on the inside, you can cut off the excess. Now you wanna go ahead and lay your graphics card flat inside and keep it as centered as possible. Now you're gonna see that you're gonna have a lot of extra space here. So now you're gonna to wanna to use those packing peanuts or even some of that extra foam that you have. So we're gonna go ahead and use our packing peanuts here. You just wanna make sure you wanna fill up the sides. You don't want too much on top. You really wanna make sure that you have enough along the side so that way it gets hit on this side or bounces around and stuff like that, that your GPU is gonna stay in place. So you just wanna press it in, add some more. And once you're done with that, you're gonna wanna do the same thing with a piece of foam and you're gonna wanna put it on top. And after that, just go ahead and close up your box and tape it up. So make sure that when you're taping it, you press down all the sides so that way it's nice and tight. Press it against your body, get your tape and pull it over not to get your hand caught in there, obviously just like I did. Go across, keep it nice and tight, bam. And then just go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. But anyways, so now you have your box taped up, packaged up. I mean, you can't even hear it shaking in there. That's what you want. You don't want to be able to hear it shake inside. It's nice and sturdy. There's no room for it to shake around. It is perfectly packaged. So anyways, so now we're gonna go ahead and get our second box. So we highly, highly, highly recommend that you get another box. And you're gonna do the same process on the second box. You're gonna go ahead and fill the space with packing peanuts. Then afterwards, you're gonna get some more of that foam and you're gonna slide it over the top and cover up any excess space there may have been. And you're gonna repeat the process of taping it up as you did the first one. Across the top. It's ready to be shipped back to us. So there you have it. 
Following these steps should cover all the bases for getting your GPU package for shipping to us. However, just as a reminder, although these are what we suggest for the safest methods, since we are not the shipping carrier, we cannot guarantee your package won't be damaged. So we recommend that you get insurance for your package through the shipping carrier at the time of shipping your package back to us. I hope you found this video helpful, and if for any reason you're still having trouble, you can always reach out to our CyberPower customer service and a representative will be glad to assist you with whatever issue you may be having. And of course, remember to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. Until next time, this is Jeremy from CyberPowerPC signing off. Catch you in the next video. Peace.